Hi, if you're like me, the price of uh, owning an Apple Watch finally got to the inexpensive point where um, for a fitness tracker, it's going to replace my Fitbit. Um, I have a friend that I work out with, and uh, he gets considerably better data, more reliably, than I've been able to get with my Fitbit. Uh, so anyway, if you want to know how to do this, you can download uh, this sheet from uh, the Apple support forums and how to set up your Apple Watch. We're actually going to walk through it. Um, this is my iPhone uh, 10R here. And I had the foresight of putting it on Do Not Disturb. I'm also going to set it so that uh, uh, it does not time out as far as display and brightness. So I'm going to set that right now from Auto Lock to Never for the purpose of this. And uh, so I'm going to set my iPhone down right here. And uh, let's go ahead and get started uh, with the unboxing here. Uh, this uh, I picked up uh, from Walmart. I know they were going to have a Black Friday price on this of $129. Um, I don't want to be tied to having to go to the store on Thanksgiving, so I went ahead and spent a premium. I paid $169 for this. It's a considerably good value. It's the color that I wanted. I went with the space metal and uh, the black band. So let's go ahead and get started. I've never owned an Apple Watch, so this is going to be kind of new for me. Okay, it looks like it has a little lip that you can possibly um, pull out on here, like a shelf drawer. We'll see if that works. We got that sticker from the bottom going, so we can pull out on it, if that works. Yeah, that's exactly what it needs. So basically, you remove the cellophane, and I didn't have to undo that. Uh, I'll keep the box nice. And you pull this out right here. So anyway, uh, this is designed by Apple in California, manufactured by Chinese in China. So um, this looks like it probably has the accessories. I know it comes with a charger. So we'll see what we have going here. There are the Apple supplied uh, instructions. Very clever. Nice boxing here. So one of the things they tell you in preparation um, is if the uh, watch doesn't turn on uh, that you may need to charge it. And so this is probably the charger and the cord down here. So I'm going to set that back out of the way. Set this back out of the way, and uh, going to set the uh, knife out of the way, and see what we have going here. Showing how the uh, how to change bands, and I'll I'll talk about that in just a minute. Well, I have excellent vit, uh, eyesight. I'm uh, afraid that uh, somebody uh, that uh, didn't have the eyesight uh, uh, that I do would have a hard time reading that. It looks like it's in uh, five-point font. Uh, so it talks about reading the user guide, watch out for radio uh, frequency energy, the battery, uh, should only be serviced by technicians. Medical device interference, avoiding hearing damage. Apple one year warranty summary. The regulatory issues, all the things. Again, you can see how small that is. That's, uh, I guess, written by their legal department for people not to have to read. All right, this is the actual Apple Watch. And it comes with... Uh, little protective um, housing on the back and on the strap 
and uh, it's showing how to put it on and uh, so I'm going to remove the uh, stickers here real quick There's that one and there's that one and it shows putting this on like so I almost did it wrong keeps keeps me humble the yeah, first time we've ever done this so uh, you know there's probably a little learning curve here Just out of curiosity, I wonder if that other strap is longer. I'm going to compare that just to see if that's uh, going to make a difference here. Yes, it is. Okay, so I was having a very hard time getting that shorter strap on my wrist. And so the way you change the strap on an iPhone is there's a little bit of a uh, button that you depress right here like this and then this strap should just pull out like that and this longer one should go in by holding that button down and then it locks in place like this and it's nice and secure so hopefully this will be a little easier I was struggling because that other one was awfully small and I'm, I don't have a super big wrist so like apparently that's the female size or the smaller person size I didn't mean to get in any, any gender situation here but for me that wasn't even close to working There we go. So I have that on and uh, it'll fit through there. All right, so I have the iPhone strap on. I'm probably gonna go one, one level tighter here in just a minute. So it's on my wrist and that's pretty comfortable. It's about the right size. Um, I did consider the larger version of this, but it just didn't seem like that was necessary for me. So I'm going to put this strap uh, before it goes in here under this packaging so we don't lose it. All right, so that's that strap. So I have the watch on my wrist, and it says, before you uh, begin, set up and use your Apple Watch. You need to have an iPhone with an updated version of uh, the iOS. You can always go in your settings and um, check to your latest iOS and so you can check software update and I'm up to date I'm running uh, the latest version of iOS 13 I'm running 13.2.3 so I'm gonna leave settings behind and so the next thing we want to do is we turn on the Apple watch and put it on so here's my Apple watch it's on and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. So I'm going to do that. And they tell you if it doesn't come on. There, it just came on. And next up, hold your Apple Watch close to your iPhone. Wait for the use your iPhone to set up this watch. I'm just going to check my settings to make sure I still have Bluetooth on. 
but sometimes I turn it off. It's been known to interfere with some of my other Bluetooth uh, things I do. Uh, wait for use your iPhone to slip. All right, it's not bringing that up, so I have to launch the Apple Watch app. That's right here, and and down here. It says, go ahead and uh, start pairing. So what you want to do is put your Apple Watch and hold it up to the camera. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll try to get out here. I may step away from the uh, bright lights I have here just because the reflection off the uh, glass may be interfering with this process. Okay, and that worked. This is so a tip if that doesn't work, your Apple Watch is paired, set up Apple Watch. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and Touch that, and next step, all right, I have just recently read all the terms and conditions, so I'm going to agree to those for Apple. So it's going to sign me into my account. So and while I'm waiting to do that, we'll just follow along here. So what I've done is I had that little trick I had to do is stepping out of the bright lights here to get the uh, pairing to take place through the camera. All right, and I'm going to enable root tracking. It's asking me for my workouts, and that's one of the things I wanted. And I need to create a passcode, so I'm going to do this. All right, I'm going to set up activity, but it's one of the reasons why I bought this. And I've got a bunch of personal information that uh, I'm going to enter in, and I'll uh, uh, be right back. All right. I don't typically believe in calories, but I chose a goal after entering my uh, personal situation, so I set and move goal. And uh, I'm not going to use Apple Pay, so I'm going to have to skip that. And I don't use it on uh, my uh, iOS devices either, uh, just because I don't think that for security purposes with all the Chinese apps and everything like that I use for my drones and things like that I really want to have any more credit card information exposed on my device than I absolutely need it. Again, I just skipped the setting up Apple Pay again because I have uh, drones that I own. I also own uh, several uh, gimbals. All right, I'm going to install all the apps, and so it's downloading uh, my apps. Um, I have a fairly fast Wi-Fi connection, so um, a little difference is this is an, uh, is an Apple Watch 3, and it has Bluetooth 4.2 implementation, and uh, we're, uh, the later Model 5 has uh, the Bluetooth 5 implementation, so in theory, uh, some of the downloading features might be a little faster. Also, a really fast Wi-Fi. So uh, we're just going to allow this to sync. And so I'm moving along here. Uh, I signed in with my Apple ID. That's done. 
I chose my settings. We created a passcode. I'm installing available uh, apps, and uh, I've been an iOS user. I have uh, an iPhone XR. I have a 10 and a half inch i iPad Pro, so I do own some apps, and uh, so I'm going to see what the progress is. It's downloading apps right now so this is the very first step okay it says uh, your Apple ID and phone number now being used for iMessage and FaceTime and new Apple watch I'll say okay and uh, still uh, syncing And at this time, uh, I'll just you can see how this comes alive. And uh, so, all right, that completes the initial setup. And again, this is all available uh, on the Apple website. I had a couple variables in here um, where I had to use the Apple Watch app to set up the sharing, and also uh, it wasn't reading uh, the animation as they call it until I stepped out of the bright light. Hit that like button if this helped you. Please subscribe. And if you want to get notified of my next video, hit that bell.